Hello, welcome to the Application Express 5.1 video series. This video is a product overview, taking a first look at the application builder. Hello, my name is David Peake, product manager for Application Express. So when you first log into Application Express or Apex, you'll be presented with the application builder, which is running purely in your browser. You don't need any other client software to be able to develop maintain and enhance applications using Application Express. For your end users, they again will need a browser and the URL for the application and their user credentials and that's it. They don't need any client software either. So looking at the Application Builder homepage, you'll see we have a number of major components. We also have a dashboard over here. In the middle here you can see the applications which have been most used, who the top user is and also any news and messages. At the bottom here, you can actually change the language with which the application builder is displayed. So for example, I can change it to Spanish and you'll see that all of our options are changing to be in Spanish rather than in English. I'll just change it back to English. And let's drill into the application builder, which is where you'll spend the majority of your time. From this page here, you can get it, options to be able to create new applications you can import an application, go to the dashboard, or various workspace utilities. I'm just going to drill directly into the sample database application. From the application homepage, you can run an application, you can access the supporting objects, which are scripts which you run when the application is imported, it's updated or deleted. Shared components are components which are used application-wide, so for example, you might define lists, for your menus or list of values which you're utilizing on many pages, images, those sorts of things. Then you also have utilities for the application and the ability to export or import the application. So let's drill straight into page seven here of this application. So when you drill into a page, you're presented with what we call page designer, which has three major panes. In the right hand pane, you have the rendering tree which shows you all the components on the page and as I'm selecting one of these components you'll see that it's also changing what's shown in the layout in the middle pane and also what's shown in the property editor across in the right hand pane. So from here you can also uh, you also have dynamic actions which are client side processing. We also have the uh, server-side processing which is executed when you submit a page so in this case we have various validations which are fired when the page is submitted then we process a row and we can also do things like branching we also have the shared components tab here which shows any shared components which are utilized on this page in the middle pane we have the layout as I said before and below the layout we have the gallery where we've got various components we can just drag and drop up into our page so for example I might want to drop a calendar in here or I can select items or buttons I can also drag and drop components around on the page so for example I might want to drop the state below the city there in the middle pane here you also have the component view which is a different way of showing all the components on the page grouped by different type as opposed to the rendering tree which shows you in the processing order. The next tab across here is messages so when you have any warnings or errors they'll be displayed there. You can do a page search and you've also got help. So if I click on help and then select a particular attribute then it will show extensive help for that selected attribute in the property editor. So at the top here I can actually change the page that I'm on so for example I might want to go to page one and at the moment there's changes pending so it's actually asking me if I want to save those changes before going off so I'm just going to cancel and save that change and then I can also go in here and I'll just type in page one and it'll go to that new page for me I can see the layout of this page very easily I can use the options up the top here to lock the page, to undo or redo changes. I've got various features for adding components. For example, I can add a page or add a particular region. 
I've also got various utilities here, such as being able to delete a page. This next one allows me to change the page designer into two pane mode. I can also drag and drop tabs between different panes. So for example, I've moved the component view across here. And if I choose to do that, I can reset my layout back to the default using this option here. So let's go ahead and run this application. Generally, applications will include authentication. So the first page that's normally displayed is a login page where you're requested to put in your username and password. Now at the moment I'm using Application Express credentials. You can also use single sign-on or LDAP or HTTP header-based authentication for things like uh, Oracle Identity Management and things like that. Let me just go and sign in. And at the bottom here, you'll see that I have this developer toolbar. Now this is only available to me because of the fact I ran the application from the application builder. End users won't have access to this developer toolbar. As I navigate around to different pages, you will see that the developer toolbar is changing. Using this option here, I can go straight back into a selected page. I can look at the session information. I can turn on debugging and then view debugging. I can show layout columns. I can do things like quick edit. So for example, if I want to go in and change this region, if I'm just there and I click on the wrench, then I might want to change the item size from default to large. And you'll see that it's making those items large for me. And then I can save that. Um, and then the last option here is theme roller. And this allows me to change the CSS that's used to render these pages. So for example, I might want to go in and change the radius and make these rounded items. I can change various colors and things like that as well using theme roller. Let me just change the header accent here instead of blue. I want to make it a greener color. So as I make that change, you'll see the changes being applied in real time. And then if I'm happy with those, then I can actually save it as my own style that I can then utilize in this application or in other applications. So I'm saving it now, and then I can actually set that as the current one, and that's how my application will look for everybody. So now I'm just gonna go back to my home page here, and let's go into the SQL Workshop. So SQL Workshop allows me to maintain all of my database objects. So for example, things like tables, packages, views, functions, procedures, etc. Going into the object browser, I can actually browse all of these components. If I select one, for example, in my projects here, then I can see my table definition. I can go and do things like adding new columns or modifying columns. I can look at the data in that table. I can also look at various other attributes of any given uh, component. I can also create new components in here so I can create a new table or index or any database object that I need. We also have SQL commands which allows you to run something such as select asterisks from AMP or insert into depth with various values. We have SQL scripts which allows you to upload a script where you might be creating multiple tables or in inserting multiple records etc. Under utilities, there's various different features, such as Data Workshop, which allows you to load and unload data, ability to generate DDL. For those people who are comfortable with writing SQL, we have a query builder where you can drag and drop tables and select columns, and it'll create the joins uh, based on the relationships you define between the objects you've selected. We also have RESTful services where you can define RESTful services which are emitted from the database for use by other applications. The next major component is team development. And for large project teams, you can utilize this section to define milestones, features, to-dos and bugs. Feedback is a really nice feature which allows you to have your end users provide you with enhancement requests or issues that they've found complete with the session state for where they were, which makes it much easier for you to understand exactly where they were and what they were doing when they provided the comment. And then lastly, we have packaged applications. 
So there's two major types of packaged applications. There's the productivity applications, and these are point solutions which are designed to be installed in a few minutes and be able to provide certain functionality to you out of the box without you having to do any development. These are also implementation of best practices for developing applications. So you may well unlock any one of these applications to see exactly how some of these pages were built. You can also unlock the application and customize or, or extend it to meet your own specific requirements. The second type of package application is the sample applications. For example, there's one here for dynamic actions, there's another one for charts, uh, there's one here for master detail, etc. So you can install these applications again very quickly and easily to give you some examples of specific functionality. If we go up to the top here, we also have our administration. And from administration, you can manage service, you can create additional users, monitor activity, look at the dashboards, etc. So you've also got a help here. And from here, you can get at the documentation or the discussion forum, which is very active for Application Express or Oracle Technology Network. And I'm just going to go in there. And from Oracle Technology Network, this is where you can download the latest version of Application Express. You can get at the documentation from here as well. Under Community, you can access the, our main community page where we have a number of different consulting companies, book, success stories and more. Apex World is a community site built by the community for the community, which includes a Slack interface together with the latest news and a really useful Twitter feed. Under Learn More, we have an array of different links. We have a Getting Started page with various links to different collateral. You've got things like Hands-On Labs here. We've got links here to white papers and presentations and a number of other links that you might find useful for Application Express. So thank you for your time and enjoy developing with Application Express. Goodbye.